Hi, my name is David Terra. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll, where I um, profile a different um, rock and roll artist's birthday every day, uh, whose birthday it is. Today is uh, Rick Huxley's birthday. I don't know if you know, you know him, but he was uh, the bassist for the band The Dave Clark Five, who was a big British invasion band in the mid-60s. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, they had they had some big hits in America. They were uh, actually more popular in England, uh, as I'll explain in a minute. But some of their big hits in the USA included Glad All Over. That was their first big hit. Then they that was followed by Bits and Pieces, Because, Catch Us If You Can, um, Over and Over, Can't You See That She's Mine, and You've Got What It Takes. They had quite a few big hits. Uh, but what's interesting to me about the Dave Clark Five is that they were actually the first band in England to knock the Beatles, these guys, out of the number one spot. The Beatles, their first number one song, both in England and the United States, was I Want to Hold Your Hand. Um, and uh, the Dave Clark Five managed to knock them out of the number one spot um, in England. But, uh, you know, the, I think uh, the Beatles, uh, you know, they, they Beatlemania was actually more popular in the USA in 64, uh, um, you know, they, no, I want to hold your hand was their first number one in America. And uh, they said they weren't going to go tour America until they had a number one song here. I want to hold your hand went to number one. We all know the rest. They, they went on the Ed Sullivan show. They actually, uh, they performed three songs on the Ed Sullivan show. And the first three uh, um, songs went to number one. The USA spent a total of 14 weeks uh, at number one, almost unprecedented. The only other artist that did that was Elvis Presley. He actually beat him a little bit. He spent 16 weeks at number one with Don't Be Cruel, Hound Dog, and Love Me Tender. But, but you might want to know who knocked uh, the Beatles out of number one in America. Turns out it was this guy, Louis Armstrong. And I was supposed to profile him yesterday. His birthday was yesterday, August 4th. He was born August 4th, 1901. Uh, Rick Huxley was born on August 5th, 1940. And I think it's really interesting. They had consecutive birthdays, and they both knocked the Beatles out of the number one spot. Uh, Rick Huxley in uh, England and Louis Armstrong in the USA. So that, And by the way, the, the song that that uh, Louis Armstrong knocked the Beatles out with was Hello, Dolly. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that song. Uh, you know, that was used in a Broadway musical, a uh, very popular Broadway musical. He, you know, Louis Armstrong was actually the oldest uh, artist to have a number one song in the USA. He was 63 when Hello, Dolly went to number one. He also appeared in the movie with Barbara Streisand. Um, he, um, so... Um, that was a big hit for him. And I think it's kind of interesting that both him and uh, um, uh, Rick Huxley knocked the Beatles out of the top spot or the Dave Clark five. So anyway, that's my um, video for tonight, and I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.